another video. My name is Tierney. If you're new here, hello and welcome. And today we are going to be going over all the books I've read in the past few months since my last reading wrap up video and then talk about the books I want to read in July. Also my July TBR. I didn't read a lot in the past few months. It's since, when did I make that video? April? I think it's like what I read in April, May, and June. So three months. It's not a lot because I was in school for two of those months, working full time, planning a wedding, all that stuff. So I haven't had time to really read until this past month, June. I've gotten back into like the kick of reading again. So definitely gonna be more book videos and more reading soon. So we'll go in order of what I read. All right, so the first book I read was Hopeless by Elsie Silver. I finally finished the series. It was so good. I really liked Bo and Bailey's story. Um, so this one follows the third Eaton brother, the last Eaton brother, and he is a military hero. Like he just got discharged from the military because he got injured. So he's back home. And then Bailey is like the girl next door and her family is not well liked, so everyone always like, I don't know how to explain it. Like her brothers are like the bad boys of the town and nobody likes them. And so like, she's always just associated with them and doesn't have a great reputation just because of her brothers. And they decide to have a fake relationship so fake fake marriage fake fiance so yeah i'm really bad at explaining books this is i'm gonna try my hardest but i feel like this book is very popular and a lot of people have already read it so it was just so good it was exactly what i needed small town romance great oh i should probably tell you what i gave it hold on so i gave it a five stars this whole series in general was five star series i absolutely love it if you need to get into small town romance and you just need like cowboys in your life i definitely suggest starting with the chestnut spring series by elsie silver it is so so good i absolutely loved it and i'm very very sad that this is over it was such a great series i still have two copies of this book so if somebody wants one and needs it to complete their mirror collection, let me know, okay? Let me know in the comments because I don't know what to do with that other book, but it's way too pretty to not just like, like to not give it to somebody who really wants it, so. Then next, since I was in a cowboy mood, I read Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage, which is the second book of the Rebel Blue Ranch series, and I think the third book comes out the end of this year, and I'm really, really excited because I really like the series. They're nice and short. It's also a small town. So this one is about Ada. I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name. I'm not sure. And Weston. Weston is the brother of the girl in Done and Dusted. I can't remember her name right now. And Ada is an interior designer that comes to help restore this old house on the ranch that Weston's like trying to make into a business and Ada also knows her sister I'm pretty sure because like that's how they got that's how she got the job because she knew somebody that was like in the family so that's how she got the job and the first time they meet they're literally in a dive bar she has no idea that he is her boss and she makes out with him not realizing who he is then the next day she goes to the job and is like oh like that's that's her boss so I'm so bad I'm so bad at this I'm really trying okay I'm really trying so yeah that then yeah yeah okay I gave it a four out of five stars it was still really good and it's also a pretty easy read to get into if you want to get into more cowboy -y romances yeah and I just these covers all of the covers are absolutely stunning like I love the way they all look and I can't wait for the third one to come out I'm really really excited for that so next I read for my reading my co-workers favorite books vlog that I just did if you haven't watched it go check it out it was a lot of fun I read a lot of different books that I never would have picked up because of it so I read nothing burns as bright as you by Ashley Woodfolk and I gave it a three out of five stars and it wasn't bad I, I did enjoy it just because I gave it three stars doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it I did very much enjoy it it was written in pro no written in verse I said prose the last time too and I don't know why I said that but it's written in verse so it reads like poetry so it was kind of I was just trying to get used to that too but it made it go by a lot quicker because it is a short shorter book in general so then the verse part made it also go by pretty quickly and it's about these this girl 
explaining and like going through her first love and talking about how she fell in love with this other girl and it's a YA book so they're teenagers so that also like kind of like the way she was describing her love was like it seemed like it was a lot like she was obsessing over her but then I realized like teenagers I feel like are like that sometimes because they don't always know what love is or like they're this is their first love so it's a lot for them and emotional for them so then it made sense that it was like so hard and deep and everything like that but anyway i feel like i just went on a tangent anyway i definitely recommend reading it though i feel like teenagers like anyone who might be going through similar things should definitely read it because it definitely would be helpful and i really enjoyed it and i think a lot of people should read it because it was very deep and powerful but yeah yeah, anyway, okay. <laughs> Moving on. The next book I read for that video was The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I've heard great things about this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was so cute and so wholesome and like I ate it up and it's it's a fantasy book and I I first had no idea what kind of fantasy book it was and I was very nervous to go into it cuz I had no idea what it was like about and it's cozy fantasy. So it's not like heavy fantasy or like heavy romanticy. It's just a nice little cozy fantasy. It's about this guy, Linus, who is in the department in charge of magical use. Sorry. And he gets summoned by the upper management to go investigate this orphanage, which has like all the magical kids in it that are like really high level security. And he has to go check to make sure that this or like see if the house is running well. Basically go check and see how well the house is doing and how well the kids are doing and if the kids are being treated well. Otherwise they have to like shut down the houses when they make their suggestions and stuff like that. But all the kids are magical creatures and they're all like the rarest kind of magical creatures. That's why they're on this like such high restricted access and then you learn all about like how you can't judge people just by the way they look or by rumors that you hear. So it was a really, really heartwarming, heart-wrenching also at times story. And the message and the meaning, it was just so beautiful. The only reason it wasn't a five stars is because the chapters are really, really long. And it took me a little bit to get into because you're like reading about this guy and you're like, why am I reading about this guy named Linus? Like, what is, why is he important? What's gonna happen? All this kind of stuff. And it was just so, so wholesome and I can't read wait to read more by this author I have two other books by him and then there's actually gonna be a sequel to the house in the cerulean sea and I'm really excited for that like I want to go back and see where all these kids are and how they're doing and everything I, I just loved it so much it was so good and I definitely recommend if you've been hesitant on this book or anything by TG Klune I would definitely just go into it I was so happy I picked this up for that reading vlog also it was the wrong book for the reading vlog I noticed because I did not go back and watch what they said so I'm dumb but it was so good and I loved every second of it so I definitely rec really recommend this book. Next same thing for that reading vlog I read Gideon the Ninth by Tasman Muir I think that's how you say her name and I gave it four out of five stars. It is a sci-fi and fantasy book so it takes place in outer space and it follows basically is in the point of view of Gideon who is in the ninth house which is the ninth planet and her and the like princess of that planet I guess you can say or of that house Harrow get summoned to go to the first planet and they are like competing kind of and trying to solve these different things to become this thing called a like dirt like like dirt I think that's how you say it which is like like a huge powerful thing to become and they have to try and figure out how to become it so there's like all these different challenges and stuff, but then all of a sudden people start dying and you're like, what is going on? So then they're trying to also solve this mystery as well of like, why is this happening to all these powerful people? And it was very, very intriguing. It was hard to get into at first a little bit just because the names are hard to read. And I did read it on my Kindle, which made it a little difficult. I think having the physical copy would have been a lot easier because it had the houses in the beginning with all the people. And then in the back was a glossary, which I didn't know about <laughs> and it explained a bunch of terms that would have been helpful if I had known about it earlier to go back and forth to like remember what that term was but overall it was really good it's gonna be a four book series there's three books out right now the fourth one I'm not sure 
when it's gonna come out but overall it's a book I would not have picked up on my own if I hadn't made that vlog because it is very sci-fi heavy but it's also like fantasy heavy but it's more like plot-ish driven like it's very it's above like a romance because there's no romance in it really and it's more about the like politics and world building all that kind of stuff that goes on in a fantasy sci-fi book so I was very very happy with it and if you're trying to branch out into a different genre I definitely recommend it and just kind of go in blind like don't really go in with any expectations because I didn't I knew it was really just sci-fi and not much else and I kind of just went off of savvy suggestions so I definitely recommend reading it then finally I finished Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. Everyone knows what this book is about. It's about Violet, Zayden, the whole, whole thing. It took me a little bit to read just because I was trying to like savor it and everything, not because I didn't like it, because I was trying to savor it and like I was so scared about what the ending was going to be and of course there's a now huge cliffhanger and I have to wait till January but I did give it 5 out of 5 stars because this series is absolutely incredible. Incredible. <laughs> and I love everything about it. I'm obsessed. This is the first book series I've gotten like special editions for. I have them up there and I cannot wait to have Onyx Storm like I can't wait for Onyx Storm to come out and I will be reading it as soon as it comes out because I need to know what happens even though I'm terrified <laughs> yeah so there, yeah there, I have nothing else much more to say about this book if you haven't read Fourth Wing yet I you should go read it because it is so good I think about this book at least once a day like the whole series at least once a day so go go read it lastly I just finished this is the first time I've read a book by this author. It's Savor It by Tara Do It. And I picked it up because it takes place in the summer. It looked summery and I I don't know what it was. I literally judged it by its cover and I did kind of read the back a little before I did bought it, but I don't know. I I was just so intrigued and of course I read it like right away. So it's about this girl named Sage who lives in Spoon 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 Spoons. S P U N E S spoons spoons I want to say spoons but there's no R in it spuns I don't know in Oregon small town in Oregon and Fisher is a Michelin star chef from New York City who comes to just kind of like help out opening a new restaurant that's coming to her town and is trying to like overcome his difficulties that he's had in the past so he basically is going here to redeem himself with his boss because he was grieving the loss of his sister and is now in charge of raising his niece and he moves in next door to sage like on the outskirts of town so they get very close and they help each other out with all of this fun stuff they kind of find each other and then like help each other out in the different ways they need so again i'm really sorry the way I'm explaining these, I'm trying to get better at explaining what books are about without giving too much away. So work with me, okay? I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I love this book. I was laughing. I was giggling throughout the whole book. I even cried. Like, I, tears were coming out of my eyes. Like, and I was not expecting that at all. Like, it just kind of hit me. And I was like, okay. So if you haven't read anything by this author, I definitely recommend reading this book. It was so, so good. And I loved every second of it. So overall, I feel like even though this wasn't a lot of books I've read in the past three months, they were all really good. Like, it was all really good books and reads. Like, I enjoyed all of them. And I feel like that's very rare for people, especially those who, like, read a lot of books. So I'm glad that I, like, read books and, like, savored them and enjoyed them. So I'm very, very happy with what I've read, and I'm going to definitely, hopefully, read more. All right, so those are all the books I've read in the past three months, and now I'm going to move on to my July TBR. So the first book I want to read in July is This Summer Will Be Different by Carly Fortune. I actually read one chapter so far of it so I've already started it and I'm really excited. I loved Every Summer After by Carly Fortune so I'm really really excited to read this book and I've heard really great things about it. I haven't really heard anything negatively about it so I'm really excited and already just like the prologue like hooked me because I was like oh Okay, so it's about this girl Lucy who is friends with this girl Bridget who is from Prince Edward Island in Canada and Bridget invites her to come spend the summer or spend a couple weeks there and Lucy gets there first because Bridget missed her flight and she goes to this restaurant and meets Felix and they have like a one night fling but she doesn't realize that Felix is her best friend's little brother and the one rule Bridget had was don't fall in love with my brother and 
there we go. And that takes place five years before, and then we go to present time where Bridget is fleeing to Toronto, or fleeing from Toronto, sorry, to Prince Edward's Island the week before her wedding, and Lucy goes out there also to like find her and help her through whatever she's going through. So it's in different timeline point of views, which is what Every Summer After did also, which I kind of like. I like that you kind of get to see the past and the present views because then you see what happens and then you see what's going on. Because then you get the backstory of like why, what their dynamic is now and what, what happened in the past to them. So I'm really excited to continue reading this. It's shorter, so I hope to get through it pretty quickly. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Long story short, excited to read this book. Next, I really want to read an Ally Hazelwood again. Ally Hazelwood again. I really want to read an Ally Hazelwood book again. I've only read Love Theoretically, surprisingly, but I literally own every single one of her books. And I've been hearing really good things about this one, and it's her newest one, which is Not in Love by Ally Hazelwood. And don't really know much about it. I just really want to read it. I've heard really great things about this book, and I love how floppy it is. <laughs> But I've been really wanting to read an Allie Hazelwood book this summer, so I'm gonna pick this one up and maybe that'll get me back in my Allie Hazelwood kick. I don't know, something about this book is just calling to me more so than any of her other books right now. So yeah, hopefully we will read it. I am excited to read it. I've heard nothing but great things about it, so. Okay. Then, I would like to read Electric Idol by Katie Robert, which is the second book in the Dark Olympus series. My goal is to read a couple more of her books before August because she is coming to our store to do a signing and I, ju I don't want to have just read the one book. <laughs> by her. So I want to get more into this series. I loved the first one because I loved Hades and Persephone and I think because I loved them so much is why I didn't continue right away with this series because I'm like I just loved them so much but this series is about all the Greek gods and goddesses so that's why I was like hesitant at first but now I think I'm ready to just dive back into the series and just give it a go and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to meet her also. I can't wait to meet her and like get her other book. And then I'm also meeting Nisha Sharma also that day because she's doing like a conversation with her that same day. So she'll also be signing books that day. So I'm really excited for that event. Like that's one of my most anticipated events that we have going on this year. So yeah, so I just want to get through at least one more book of hers before I meet her because I don't want to just be like, oh yeah, I've only read Neon Gods and then I'm here buying like the eighth book of hers or seventh book of hers. So yeah, Electric Idol. Okay, I'm shedding hair and it, I don't like hair on me and it's giving me like the chills okay next this book is very very hyped and that is why I've been putting it off for so long but I feel like I just need to read it and see what the hype is about but I'm kind of like nervous I don't know why I don't always like reading hyped books once they get really hyped like I want to kind of let it die down a little bit but the second book just came out, so I kind of want to read the three books I own, like, just kind of keep going and see what's going on. So, that is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I'm just, like, I'm trying not to, like, overly hype it in my head, so that way I will enjoy it, because I know some people that I know that's read it have been, like, it was good, but because it was so overhyped, they didn't, like, they got it overhyped, so then they didn't enjoy it because it didn't reach their level, if that makes sense. But Reckless just came out yesterday, and I do have it, so I kind of want to read them and just kind of keep go with it, you know what I mean? Just kind of, I don't know. I think it's just, I think it's just time. And this is, like, more, I I feel like this is a lighter fantasy, lighter fantasy because it's a young adult and not adult fantasy so I think it'll be an easier fantasy to read during the summer because I'm not always in the fantasy mood in the summer so yeah. Okay. Lastly, I want to read another Elsie Hill. Oh, okay. I want to read another Elsie Silver book. But I don't know which one I want to read first. So I have either Wild Love by Elsie Silver. Sil oh my gosh, why can't I say her name? Wild Love by Elsie Silver or Off to the Races by Elsie Silver. This one, I have all four books for the series. So I kind of want to read it because then I can kind of just read the whole series. But this one also really intrigues me because you meet the main guy character of this book in Hopeless. I'm pretty sure Hopeless, I'm pretty sure, is the one you meet him in. And this one I've just heard such great things about. And the second book comes out later this year also. And I don't, I don't know. But then this book, this is her first ever series and book she wrote, which is like, takes place before Chestnut Springs. So I don't know. 
know. I don't know which one I want to read. So one of these I will read this month. Maybe I'll read both. I don't know. If I'm in like an Elsie Silver mood, I will read both. But yes, I have these two. So I got these covers before they no longer made them. But also I kind of like the Barnes covers also because the spines of them will make a picture. Like the first runs of editions of them all are going to make a picture. So I kind of like that too. And I do like the way they look. But I also like the way these look. I'm in a dilemma. I don't know if I'm going to get them. If I really, maybe I'll read this and if I really really like it then I will also get that because I know also in that book in the Barnes at least or like in the new editions the the novella that goes in between the first book and the second book is in that book but you can't get the novella in this cover anymore like it's only available on Kindle for some reason so I would also really like that if I could maybe that's why I could get it because it'll have like extra and I could read that novella also I don't know we'll see we'll see okay oh that's the wrong way so yeah, these two books are on my TBR. Yay! Okay, well that's gonna be it for this video. Everything I've read, my nice reading wrap up and July TBR. I have more videos planned and I hope these are not going to be the only books I read in July because I want to do some more reading vlogs. If you haven't watched my last reading vlog, you should definitely go watch it. It was my first ever one and I'm actually very proud of it and then I'm proud that I actually did it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below for more fun bookish content and videos and everything like that. Comment down below your most anticipated read for the month of July. I would love to know because then I can get more books to add to my TBR and I just love knowing what other people People are reading because I love finding new authors and new books and series to read so yeah. thank you guys so much for watching I love you all so so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye <laughs>